Welcome grade 9, how are you? Today, we will con continue explaining the enzyme properties. Um, uh, what are the factors, what are the factors that, that affect uh, the action of uh, enzyme, uh, the enzyme activity? Okay, let's start. The enzymes. Chapter one, uh, active D3 enzymes, bio, biological catalyst, factors affecting enzyme activity. Enzymes, lower uh, reactions, activation, energy. The, uh, uh, each uh, reaction, uh, it uh, needs uh, an activation energy. Enzymes, for example, it uh, lowers the, the reaction activation energy. All chemical uh, reactions, uh, require some amount of energy to get uh, them started, or uh, it, it is the first push to start reaction. This energy is called activation energy. Like this, without enzyme, uh, the lactose could be uh, digested into glucose and galactose, but uh, very hardly. Activation uh, energy without enzyme, uh, net energy released for uh, splitting or Lactose. This is uh, the case with enzyme, which uh, the introduction of uh, lactase facilitates the simplification of complex molecule, which is lactose, into glucose and galactose. Activation energy with enzyme, net energy released. Okay, therefore, enzyme is a biological catalyst that facilitates the digestion of complex molecules into simpler or smaller ones. Enzymes are proteins, uh, are, are of protein nature. Their action is affected by several factors. What are the factors? Look at this, uh, uh, look and key model. Uh, look at this enzyme. You see the complementarity between the enzyme and the substrate. Enzyme substrate complex and uh, the enzyme detaches from the product, okay? Enzyme, substrate, enzyme, substrate, complex, enzyme, and the product. So that enzyme is specific for only one substrate, okay? Therefore, enzyme is specific. For example, uh, starch is digested only by amylase. Uh, protease acts only on protein. Another uh, factor, which is the temperature. What is the action of temperature? Look at the enzyme activity, uh, turnover turn uh, number, uh, which constitute the enzyme activity as function of temperature. As temperature increase, the enzyme activity increases till in an optimum maximum, then it decreases to reach zero to become null. Uh, there are three states for uh, the action of temperature. At low temperature, enzyme activity um, uh, is not uh, maximum, uh, but the enzyme uh, conserves its, uh, its nature. So low, uh, low uh, temperature uh, do not uh, change the nature of enzyme. Uh, it uh, could be uh, functional after we uh, re-elevate uh, its temperature. An optimum temperature between 30 and, uh, and 45, for example, uh, the 37 degrees uh, constitute the uh, body temperature, which is the optimum uh, temperature for the action of enzyme. At high temperature, uh, the enzyme will lose its uh, nature because it is a protein and uh, to be, uh, could be uh, denaturated uh, by the heat. Optimum temperature, the temperature at which enzymatic reaction occurs fastest. Another factor, look at this factor, the uh, medium uh, such as acid, base, and uh, neutral. Okay, this is the acid between zero and seven. Uh, this is neutral at seven exactly, and uh, above there are uh, the alkali uh, alkaline media. Uh, look at uh, these uh, these uh, three enzymes. 
pepsin amylase, human amylase, and the trypsin. Each uh, one uh, has its uh, favorite, uh, favorite uh, medium. For example, pepsin acts at pH equal to. A human amylase acts at pH equal 7. This is uh, in the mouth. And uh, the trypsin, which uh, digests the protein, uh, its uh, favorable medium is uh, around 8 uh, pH. pH also affects the rate of enzymatic enzyme substrate complex. Most enzymes have an optimum pH uh, of around 7 which is neutral. However, some prefer acidic or basic conditions. So that, however, an enzyme needs suitable medium pH. Starch needs between five and 20 minutes to be digested. Proteins need between one and two hours. While lipids need about three hours. So therefore, the enzyme needs enough time to act. These are the factors that act uh, on the enzyme activity. Uh, specific enzyme, specific substrate, enzyme is specific for one substrate. Temperature is uh, uh, affecting uh, the enzyme activity. pH medium. Uh, and uh, uh, look at the amount of substrate and the time. Uh, this is uh, the substrate concentration and reaction rate. Look at the amount of substrate. As it increases, the enzyme activity increases till uh, a maximum, then it reach uh, it uh, still con constant. Uh, this is uh, the substrate concentration. Uh, the rate of reaction increases as substrate concentration increases at constant enzyme concentration. Maximum activity occurs when the enzyme is saturated, when all enzymes are binding substrate. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.